All right, so this is Carla's interview. So, um, let me get to the top of my questions. Okay. So, getting interviewed. Basically, it's just having a discussion with somebody about your story. It's one of the most effective ways to see how incredible, how, how much incredible value you have to share. The best part is there's no right or wrong answers to any of the questions. There's only your experience and how you want to frame and share that experience with the people that you want to reach and turn into your top performing Beachbody team members. But that's not all because by learning the skill of being interviewing and it is a skill, you'll be able to turn around and perform the exact same favor for your new team members. And let's get real. You ideally want to fresh post to, to post fresh new content onto your Facebook page. Likewise, you need plenty of ideas to write your dark post when you get to that point. So getting interviewed helps you discover an abundance of material you have, you have inside of you just waiting to come out. With that in mind, here are some of your questions. So how did you start coaching? Um, I was really unhealthy and fit and unfit <laughs> and uh i was watching danielle for like a year i f saw her through a friend of mine and i was watching her and um i talked to her about it a few times and it took me a little while to join i didn't want to drink the shakes at first but she she got me on like one of those five day um five day challenges or whatever mm -hmm. and sent me a bunch of shakes and I tried them and I totally fell in love with them and that's when I was like okay I'm in <laughs> <laughs> so there is hope for those people that refuse to do it yes <laughs> um so was there like a a point in your life when you uh, when you were like I'm just fed up or health issues or Oh yeah, definitely. For like probably two or three years before that, I was feeling that way. I started kickboxing and uh, I got really fit then and I was really happy. And then I moved from Calgary north near Edmonton and that I kind of lost it all. I just stopped working out and then I got really sick of not being able to walk up my stairs. I felt like, like I was dying when I'd walk up my stairs and I had no energy. I was always cranky all the time and I just got really sick of it. Um, my actually, my astrology basically says that I'm happier when I work out. So I was like, Oh, I'm going to try this out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so what's the theme of your story? Uh, well, I guess you kind of just answered that. Like, have you experienced lots of health and disease issues, struggled physically, emotionally, financially? Not really. I did struggle emotionally um, for after having kids mm -hmm. and being really overweight. I did struggle with myself a lot. I struggled looking at myself and I was always really skinny and I was always... I wouldn't say fit because I didn't do anything really before I was just skinny and then I had kids and that was all gone, you know, and it was so difficult and things everywhere in my life were really difficult. Um, yeah, I just, I was really depressed for a long time and I was really, I felt angry almost and I took it out on my family most of the time and I hated that and I needed to work on myself. I needed to do something for myself so that I could be happy again. <laughs> okay. Um, so you kind of answered the next questions about, <laughs> you know, have you had relationships that have failed? to feel like you really want them to? And are you ready to start telling a new story about what you really want and deserve? And it seems like you're doing that. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So are you sharing that? I am, yes. Okay. Um, 
I guess maybe I haven't gone that deep into it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I guess I never really shared that deeply into it. <laughs> what this is for. <laughs> so, um, sorry. Uh, okay. So, um, what are your identification factors? And okay. So what are identification factors? Um, that, so in other words, what challenges and breakthroughs you want to help your leads and new team members to focus on and overcome within themselves? Is that, like, how can you solve problems as a way to help other people overcome stuff within? Well, them? I think I I try really hard to do that. Actually, I am always telling people how I overcame everything, and I just feel like most people's problems are a lot like mine where they are just fed up being the way that they are and they don't feel strong enough mentally, I guess, to do it, you know, and I'm always telling people to tell themselves out loud, like, I can do this, you know, even if your head's like, no, I can't do this. It's all down on yourself stop yourself from saying that and tell yourself, no, I can do this. I can do this and make yourself believe that you can do it because you will. And that's what I always try to tell people, but it, I find it so hard. There's, they're so, they have such a hard time doing that. And for me, I don't know. I found it was so easy. <laughs> it was easy because it was maybe a better time for you. I mean, if it was that yeah. easy, you would have done it long time ago where you got that fed up and yeah, you wouldn't have taken all that out on your family and yeah, you know, exactly. So, yeah. You've got to put yourself back into their shoes, you know, back into your old shoes. Like, mm -hmm. okay. You know what, like, what can I say to them? You can't say anything. Yeah. You know, but, yeah. Yes, you can have some water. <laughs> but, you know, I guess it's, um, you know, you can, you can relate your story to how, you know, how much you, you wish you would have just started then. Mm -hmm. You know? What Definitely. A it would have made if I had started. No regrets, because you wouldn't be here. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> but... That it's, yeah. So did you, I mean, did you just like wake up one day and you were like, I'm doing this? Yeah, pretty much. It was like from one day to the next. I just, I was trying to get my husband sort of into it. And I was like, okay, I, I kind of want to do this. And he was like, yeah, whatever you want to do. And then one day I was just like, um, yeah, I'm just going to order it. Like my child tax came in. And I was like, I'm going to take this little bit of money that I never take for myself and I'm going to spend it on myself and I'm going to buy this. And I'm so glad I did. <laughs> That's a really great post right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what this is for. This is just tools for you to go back and make a post out of everything that you're saying to me. Yeah. <laughs> so just, don't even think about that. I just said that though. <laughs> um, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so why are you passionate about health and fitness? Because I think it's really important in order to live a good life. Like everybody is getting so sick every day. Every day you hear about new people that you love that are getting sick. And I watch some of my family members, like my, my mother-in-law smokes and it just, I just want everybody to be healthy. <laughs> it drives me crazy. I just want everyone to live a healthy life. <laughs> um, so, you know, I know you said that you had worked out off and on. So, but, it, but it hasn't always been a priority, right? Oh, no, not at all. When I was growing up, I didn't do anything 
to work out or like I had fun. I rode my bike and stuff like that, but I never played sports. I didn't go to the gym. I didn't do anything like that. Uh, why did you pick Beachbody? Um, I have, I haven't really tried very much. I've never been into diets. I've heard about lots of diets and I've never been into them because I've, we've always kind of eaten really healthy in my house. So I've always believed that you need to eat healthy and I've always known that you have to exercise in order <laughs> to maintain a healthy body. Mm -hmm. And so I was never a big believer in diet. And as I watched Danielle and I watched her eat properly and um, exercise and do everything properly, I thought this is the program for me because I know I eat healthy. My problem is how much do I need to eat because I'm eating way too much. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's funny, like, even when you, you know – what's healthy like i mean i know for my, for myself like i i would think i was doing a lot better than i was mm -hmm. and then once i would look at it it was like no that's it was not a good day yeah <laughs> you know you had to buy like half a muffin and yeah <laughs> it adds up <laughs> totally it really does yeah. When you have like two massive plates for dinner, like that's not good. <laughs> you know, that's not yeah. going anywhere because you're going to sleep after. <laughs> yeah. Even if it is, yes, healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what's your why? My why was me, really. I originally thought it was more about bringing, helping my family with income. Mm -hmm. but I've come to learn that it's about me building self-confidence. And the other day I actually had like this light bulb moment and uh, I've, my oldest daughter I had with my ex and we fought in court lots. And when I fired my lawyer and was representing myself, I froze in court and I couldn't say anything. And I totally got shit on. <laughs> um, this just uh, no. no, this happened like okay. five years ago. And I just, I couldn't stand up for myself. I had a really hard time facing my ex and his lawyer and the judge. You know, it was really intimidating for me. Yeah. And I knew that I really needed to work on my self-confidence and being able to feel strong enough to stand up for everything that my daughter feels and everything that he did before and now. And, <laughs> yeah. you know, so I, I have learned a lot about myself and I feel like I can really stand up for our for us now you know and that's something i really needed to do do you talk about that uh sometimes <laughs> not i don't talk about that situation very often on facebook because i can't <laughs> um do you ever get in any like i don't know what the exact you know what all he did and what mm -hmm. But do you get in groups? Um, no, I don't have very many groups like that. I have a hard time finding groups, to be honest, finding groups that I feel okay. yeah. work with me. Yes. No, I understand because I'm in a lot of grief groups. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of them are like, like just like pictures of like yeah uh, with really cheesy sad quotes on them <laughs> and i'm like that's depressing yeah <laughs> like, <laughs> all of our angels were doing this and i'm like yeah not working <laughs> yeah 
So yes, and some people just go in there and they're completely negative. Yeah. But just keep looking and you'll find groups and maybe you don't find like a group as a whole, but you'll mm -hmm. find women that, you know, maybe you're still stuck in that crappy marriage. Yeah. And, um, you know, women that you can private message and, you know, maybe they'll share their story and you, you guys can relate and yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's really good to go in there and make those connections. Okay. Cause then you get to share about it more and yeah. So, okay. I'm off script. <laughs> um, so, um, Describe what opportunities being a Beachbody coach has produced in your life that you would have never had a chance to experience otherwise. Um, I like Super Saturdays. <laughs> I got to meet lots of, lots of really positive people. I feel like I have a lot of negative people in my life, and I've met a lot of positive people, and. They all just do the same things I'm doing, you know. I, I've always tried to get people interested in what I'm doing, but everybody's so different. So it's so nice to meet people that want to do the same thing I'm doing and have fun together that way, you know. <laughs> everybody's having fun doing the same thing because they all like it. <laughs> so the community. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yes, and there's going to be lots more stuff that you'll end up getting to do as your coach. Yeah, I'm excited for it all. <laughs> are you are you registered for the trip? Yes. Are are you going? I don't know yet. I'm registered for it, so. Wait, I yeah. I think I just got off of it. Oh, I really want to. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to come up with the $300 in 48 hours. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to have to save it and leave it there, but. I know. I, <sighs> I just took it out of savings. Like. Oh. Yesterday. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Um, I'm not giving my photo. Okay. Yeah. Um, so. Describe your ideal team member. Like, like a coach under you. That's going to work. Oh. Someone who will work with me. Like, who's not going to expect me to do everything for them, but we can share ideas back and forth and, and be open to each other and work together, basically. <laughs> A team member. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> um, do you feel equipped to lead to lead your new coaches? Um, I think yes. I do. Um, I feel nervous about it, but I do think that I could do it. Um, do you have coaches under you working now? I have one that says she wants to do to work, but she just hasn't done anything. Don't count her. Start, you okay. Start posting. Start. Okay. Sneak peek. Okay. Monday. <laughs> this Monday. Mm hmm a Okay. Week from yesterday. Um, okay. We're doing it with all the people running the group. Okay. So that's going to be awesome because it's going to be a bunch of different coaches perspectives um you know all kinds of coaches so how long have you been a coach since about august end of july okay um yeah girl you gotta get you gotta get recruiting yeah i've had nobody comment or like or anything on any of my call to action posts I know you've got to really go out and ask people and mm -hmm. start talking to them. And it took me months before I started recruiting, but mm -hmm. you've got to go diamond this month. Yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. Like no ifs, ands, or buts. Um, it's happening. You know it. So, like, it private message invite people to the coaching opportunity and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, I mean, anybody who you've had as a discount coach. Okay. Or any past challengers. Um, okay. You know, you kind of have to just, if if in your head, you know, you're like, well, I haven't seen that much income from this yet, or I haven't, um, you know, I'm not building my business. You can't think mm -hmm. like that when you're talking to people. You've got to, yeah. you know, I mean, you are going to. You yeah. Know, you're going to have a team under you, and you've got to know that. And these people are lucky mm -hmm. that you're asking them. Yeah. <laughs> they are. You know, yeah. it's, it's it. So you have to. So when you think of that ideal team member, when you're just, which I, you know, set your timer for when you scroll through mm -hmm. Facebook. Let me preface this. <laughs> yeah. But when you're scrolling through Facebook, no, not during your power hour. You know, just like if you if you run across people and you're like, you know, that person just looks like a cool person. Yeah. I want her on my team. Maybe she's a bit. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but go start talking to her. Okay. You know, and it doesn't always happen right away. And, you know, you just find out if they're just say, you know, I know it's not for everybody, but would you mm -hmm. be open to it? Yeah. Would you be open to okay. learning about it? I have a few people in mind that I will, that I would probably do that with. And sign up, if you can sign up another, another family member, ASAP. Okay. So you, you want to be able to control both legs. Mm hmm So I have my whole family on one leg. I've been trying to get my brother. He really needs it. But he's lazy and hesitant. Well, you don't have to get me. He doesn't have to use it. You can sell his shakes as samples and use his program. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All you need is social security number. All right. <laughs> so, so then, you know, um, all you have to do is sign up two discount coaches under him. Yeah. Is your husband Emerald? Yeah. No, well, no, he's not doing anything because I don't know why he but you can make it says up. he wants to, but, but you, Oh yeah. 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 Uh, see, I haven't started working on his because I wasn't. I've just kind of started thinking about that. Oh, what am I doing? I should be working yours too. And yeah, so I haven't started doing his yet. So when I hit SC every month, I get my husband SC. Okay. Like, well, I I make myself ten, and then I get my husband to six. Okay. Because I get a bigger check when he gets to mm -hmm. six. Yeah. So, and you know, okay. it, it counts towards, um, you know, like your elite points and all that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. You get a, you get a bigger paycheck when he, when your husband gets success club. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. I'll have to mm -hmm. start working on his. Then. <laughs> and I know you've been doing a lot of work on yourself. Yeah. You get it back to that. How's that been going? Good. Really good. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I I feel really good. <laughs> awesome. You feel like you're in a better place too. Oh, I do. I feel much happier now. And less less stressed about the business. And oh yeah. Don't stress about going diamond this month. Just know it's gonna happen. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's how I feel now. You do? I was stressed out about it before, but I was like, why am I so stressed out about it? That's why this is not happening. Yeah. I'm like, that's why nothing's happening for me lately because I'm so frustrated about it and I need to just get over it and just believe that it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I've, I'm, I've been in the same boat. Um, yeah. I, so in my, I'll, I'll tell you this after we're done. Okay. But yeah, <laughs> belief is huge. Um, okay. So um, what is the defining factor for why people should work with you over any other coach? Oh, mm. 
That's a good question. <laughs> I just think that I'm really happy and and motivating. That's what people tell me all the time. Everyone tells me, oh, you're so inspiring and you're so motivating and happy all the time and so positive and you make such a great coach and I am so inspired by you all the time. So I think that's one of the things that make me such a great coach. <laughs> well, and you're strong. You know, you've got, you got out of a, a bad marriage and yeah. You know, I mean, what's the, you know, you have a whole story behind that too. Like, yes. How you left, like, I mean, did you have to start over? Oh, yes, definitely. With nothing. <laughs> I moved back into my parents' house and I was pregnant. And she, I was only four months pregnant when he left. And then I moved to my parents' house and started all over. <laughs> yeah. So do you, um, you know, that's, that's a huge thing that you've overcome. So he yeah. left, he left when you were pregnant. Yeah. And you were married. And we weren't married. We oh. were just common law. Oh. But yeah. And that, I guess that kind of worked out in my favor because she was, uh, I have sole guardianship of her because of when he left. And how old were you? I was 26. Um, and how long had y'all been together? Five years. Wow. And he was, we were both drug addicts, really. And then I found out I was pregnant and I quit everything. And he didn't want to quit. And I pretty much told him either you quit or you leave. And he left. What were you using? Cocaine. Um, Okay, so, like, let's back up. <laughs> this is a whole other part of your why. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, this yeah. is a whole part of your story. Like, that's, that's some shit that you went, that's, you know? And look <laughs> where you are now. Yeah. Look at, I mean, how much do you... You've grown as a person. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely very different. <laughs> that's that's huge. So I'm proud of you. And if it <laughs> if it took, you know, a, a lot to get you to where you are. Yes. <laughs> it took you a lot to find Beachbody. Um. This is all part of your story that you should talk about. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and part of your why. <laughs> so, yeah, you have a lot of tools to help a lot of women. <laughs> um, okay, so um, what obstacles did you have to overcome? Uh... I don't like having my pictures taken. <laughs> so I had to get out of that comfort zone and start take I actually especially didn't like taking pictures of myself by myself. <laughs> and so taking selfies and taking videos of myself and posting them on Facebook and making my life public. <laughs> really okay so what how did you like what made you start making those videos I just knew that that's what I had to do when I became a coach because I saw Danielle for so long and I thought if I'm going to be a coach this is what I have to do I'm asking so. you this is like I need help <laughs> yeah. my, I don't know I just with my I just told myself this is this is what I have
Oh. <laughs> Sorry, it does that every time. Um, <laughs> Just freezes? Yeah, and then it like looks back like it's going to shut down and it doesn't. So um, oh. <laughs> it's like always at the same point. Okay, so what are the most difficult, what, what were the most difficult things that you faced? Um, kind of the same question. Oh, I think my first post yeah. of before and after was probably one of the most difficult things I had to do. It was like a close my eyes and push the button kind of moment, you know? <laughs> yes, I do. I <laughs> um, what was the first moment when someone gave you a compliment or acknowledged your transformation? that picked with that post right there <laughs> yeah and then you were like worth it <laughs> well yeah because I don't I don't go out very much mm -hmm. and so I was kind of here at home all this time and then nobody really saw me until after I posted that and everybody was like oh my god <laughs> yeah yeah that's awesome <laughs> Um, what pisses you off? Oh. Well, <laughs> when people don't believe in themselves, it really bothers me. It really frustrates me so much. And I think it's because I was there when I was with my ex. I lost everything I had for myself. I didn't believe in myself. I didn't care. And that really bothers me, watching people treat themselves that way. Yeah. Self-loathing, I guess. Okay. Um, what keeps you up at night? Thinking about my daughter and my ex and that whole situation. <laughs> yeah. Um, what accomplishments have given you a sigh of major relief? When I reached Emerald, I was pretty excited and felt like, okay, I can do this. <laughs> it's a big milestone. Yeah. Yeah. It feels and like I did it pretty quickly because I was so in the right mindset. <laughs> now you've got it back. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so um, the, this is the last one. So have you, you, have you defied your own expectations or other people's expectations? I feel like I haven't yet, although Danielle was pretty proud of me when I got Emerald in like two weeks, but um, I feel like I haven't done that yet, and it's because I haven't really, I feel like I haven't tried very hard to, so I feel like I'm on my way to doing that this month. <laughs> so you know, if you, you didn't have those expectations for yourself, so you haven't, you know, not defied them. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, but you know, don't, besides business wise, you know, um, it's, you know, the, you're, you're still sticking with this and you're still doing the yes. Oh, yes. In that way, I've definitely, I did expect in the beginning, um, I kept thinking to myself, I, don't, I almost can't see myself doing this for my whole life, you know. And, you know, when you think, oh, I'm going to get fit and then I won't have to work out anymore. But then I thought, but I can't do that because this is, this is the rest of my life that I have to commit this to. And it took me a little bit of time to to understand that, I guess, but I am really proud of myself, how far I've come and that I've stuck to it and how I feel about it now versus how I felt about it before. Mm -hmm. I want to do it in the morning. I wake up and I just, I want to do it. And I'm really proud of myself for that. <laughs> 
That's great. I'm proud of you too. <laughs> Thank you. So that's our interview. Um, okay. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Katie. <laughs>